All right, just kill it here and work our way in. You know, something that works really well for keeping your sunglasses from fogging because, man, my sunglasses were fogging earlier and it's driving me crazy. I just put a layer of Rain-X on the inside of them and that, that helps a bunch. All right, so I'm gonna throw, I'm gonna throw that suspending bait combo, but I'm not gonna use that color. Uh, not because it's like a bad color or anything, but because I am more confident with this color that is called 808. Oh, please just let this be my ticket, baby. I am ready. But I'm not gonna beat this up. I'm just gonna get through it. And if there's fish, we'll know. Now as I reel this bait in, I'm just looking. Are there following fish? Is there a speckled trout just nosing it, just following right behind it? And if there is, well, that's good. You know, there's trout here. Just gotta figure out how to make them bite. The worst thing that can happen here is I smoke one and then that's it. Like there's just a lone trout over here just trying to get away from all the fishing pressure at the trestle. <laughs> I just end up, whoopow, knocking him in the boat and then that's it. All right, let's bounce out of here. If there's anything here, I would have caught some by now. Let's head on back to the trestles. Let's head on over to the trestles, to the trestles. Enjoying the circus and maybe there'll be a bite somewhere in there. Gosh, I hope so. That would be amazing. A wee ma what, a wee ma what, in the trestles, the mighty trestles, speckled trout are fighting today. All right, we're just gonna do this little stretchy stretch right here and that's, that's it. That's what we're gonna do, then we're gonna keep on going. I was just about to give up on this dress too. Nice speckle trout. Look the look the tail on that thing, the tail on the matrix kind of sticking out its gills. That's how much this fish just hammered that bait. Man. Speckle trout number eight. Bam. You know, there's other boats around here, like on the other side of the trestles too. I should just yell like, speckle trout number 32. It's been a while since I've seen a trout nail a bait that hard where the tail of the major shad is sticking out of its gills. That's crazy. Well, I was gonna leave. I was just like, man, I ain't feeling this stretch, but I think we're about to do what we did at Highway 11 here. Just, oh man. But at least here I'm still moving. I have a lot of real estate I can cover here. So right now it is not as apparent if the water is moving or not. And there's an easy way you can tell. So you can't always tell if there's current lines coming off the pilings or not. But what you can do is look at the crab traps that are littered all up and down this thing. And uh, sure, that's not super duper leaning over but it is pointing towards uh, where the tide would be falling. And so is that one right there. So what that tells me is that the tide is just beginning to peter out, but we remember we have that really good incoming tide range, so it should be a quick turnaround. And this is where I wanna be once that tide starts coming in. Here 
Here we go. Thank you, I'm jumping out the water like a friggin' bass. I know that was on camera. Oh man. All right. Big pissed off Lake Pasta Train speckle trout. That is speckle trout number nine, y'all. Bam. Water here does seem cleaner. It's really hard to tell because the sun is now, but it does seem cleaner. Little ding a ling fish. Oh, how much I do not enjoy these things. But at least it's a trout. Go. We're talking about right there, baby. The speckle trout number 10. We are in the double digits now. Finally putting something together. This is more like what it should be like. And this time they're actually biting like they should be. That stuff at Highway 11 was a friggin' nightmare, man. Oh, I just got bit again right there. There we go. Oh no, it came out. That's a little fish. Or the big fish had it and let go, and then this guy picked up on it. But I think it was I think it was just that guy the whole time. There's a lot of little fish out here. Devin. Devin. Yes, sir. Ah, ha, ha, ha. You, you probably joined the Facebook group then. Yeah. Well, I appreciate you doing that. Y'all having any luck? No, not really. No, it's the same here. It's been slow. I thought I, thought I was going to smash them today, but... I don't know. I don't have good luck, man. Anything I catch is, is because I earned it. Yeah, I'm the guy that goes to the casino and loses money every time, so I don't go. I hear you. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna try to be out here. <laughs> hey, what's your name? What's your name? Gilbert. 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 Nice to meet you. got bit man I took my hand off the freaking reel like come on oh, oh, on the retrieve bam yes yes nice fat Lake Ponce train speckle trout that felt good I'm gonna get back in the water and do it again right now Oh, I needed that. Trout number 11. So he may have followed it off the pilings and then hit it as I brought it up to retrieve it back to the boat to recast. Or maybe I just need to be casting down the length of this thing and retrieving. Boy, that'd be a lot easier. I don't think so. I think he followed it off the pilings. And the water here is just clean and green. It's so nice. How am I not demolishing the speckle trout right now? Man, I felt awesome. Whew. Oh, it's a freaking flounder. Look at that. It's not that big, though. Well, buddy, I really wish you were a speckled trout so you can go towards my limit. Dude, is the tide still freaking falling right here? It's like the tide, uh, is the tide coming in or going? Because sometimes, ah, it's just, this is frustrating. Okay, I'm gonna make like one more cast here. And then I'm gonna move down towards the end where water moves first. That's something I put in shore fishing 101 is 
learning, knowing, identifying where that water is going to move first. So you can just, rather than waiting on the tide to move, you can just go straight to it. Of course, I'm just freaking hung up. All right. All right, let's take a ride. All right, so we're here. We're gonna give this a whack. Something I did is that I tied on a uh, quarter ounce shake head just because it's a little shallower here. So that water's really ripping, I'll use a 3 8 sound. So I, I think I can feel it acting on the boat. Controlling motor batteries really could be doing better right now. Really could be doing better. I charged them, I don't know what their deal is. Maybe they're just not, maybe they're just getting old, I don't know. Oh my gosh, you cannot tell me it's going to be this easy. This will be the only fish I catch here, watch. It's a freaking flounder. All right, bud, you're going in the, in the cooler. Man, pull up. Blast a flounder, that's it. Tide definitely seems to be coming in a little bit stronger here. Not by much though. Trying to troll the motor right now, I was like, ugh, boss, when are we gonna go home? When? Freaky, hung up on the bottom. Like all the time. Probably more than I'm catching speckled trout. I thought I got hung up again. Please don't be a flounder. Please don't be a flounder. It's a trout. Yes. Oh, 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 I am invigorated. Dude, I just left it up on the ride like, ah, oh, oh, I'm hung up again. The bait that I caught this speckled trout on is called Cocodry Candy. Uh, it's made by Cajun Lures. It's a Mad Minna in Cocodry Candy. But uh, honestly, I think that trout would have bit almost any color down there. Trout number 12. All right, take this. This has been a very long day. Right now, the time is 3.30. I've got like, what, 12 speckled trout, two flounder to show for the effort. It's certainly not for a lack of trying. I'm trying my butt off. Goodness gracious. The fish I did catch, what I used today was a uh, combination of uh, tackle, technique, and equipment. That equipment being like sonar. The old tracks is absolutely awesome. It makes my life a lot easier in terms of being able to spot lock and still have a steering, uh, like a cable steered foot pedal trolling motor. And then there's the jig that I've showed you numerous times throughout the day and in the very beginning of this fishing tri trip or rather last night in my garage and all these sort of soft plastics and colors. I don't think that there was really one that stuck out. I think what it boiled down to is that the, the speckled trout are just scattered everywhere and that there's not a whole lot of them. Because if they were scattered and there's a lot of them, I would have picked up 25 because I was also scattered everywhere. But all the things I use to catch those fish, well, they're just tools that require skill and knowledge in order to be implemented successfully. And if you would like to learn how it is I use those tools, the sonar, the ponce train pop, trolling motor, positioning etc then all you have to do is join my exclusive membership at lafbelite.com use the link in the video description below and you'll be able to discover all the benefits of membership with LAFB Elite with all that out of the way what did you think about today's fishing trip and if you enjoyed this video by all means please give it a thumbs up and if you'd like to know when the next one goes live all you have to do is subscribe and ring that bell for all notifications thanks for watching and tight lines